Hey everybody, this is Clover, and I'm back again playing some Final Fantasy IV. Now, where we left off last time, I think I might have made a bad decision and came to Eblon Castle very early to try and get the treasure chests here in the, uh, in the castle. Uh, so this might not be a great idea, but you know what? I'm going to keep trying uh, to, uh, to get the remaining treasure chests here. Now, uh, last time, I already took care of the chests, all the chests on the left, and all the chests in the center up here. Uh, now, I'm gonna take care of the remaining chests on the right. I think I got a couple of chests on the right earlier as well. Uh, so, yep, heading into Eblon Castle on the right-hand side. Uh, I'm gonna come up here. I think I got the, yeah, I definitely got the chests up here last time. All right, cool, and I'm heading down. And what do we have here? 800 GP. Okay, cool. Make some money. All right. And then what is over here? Oh, 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 come on. Come on. There we go. An Ether 1. All right. And another Ether 1. And what's over here? This might not be good for me. Uh, monsters. <laughs> Now, if I remember correctly, this is going to be a very difficult fight, and I'm probably not going to live. So, let's try it out. Yep, exactly what I thought. Alright, Mad Ogres. Uh, Cecil does have the... Uh, Cecil does have the, um, the Slumber Sword, so hopefully he puts him to sleep. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, alright, so let's just try and deal as much... Uh, as much damage on these other two guys while this guy is asleep. Okay, come on, Tella. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta get Tella to, to throw off a cure three. All right, here we go. Um, maybe a good course of action here would be to try and uh, and um, get Tella to throw some protect. I don't even know what the protect in this game is. I never use protect. Fall asleep? Yeah, thank you. All right, okay, okay. We might be getting a little bit easier. Hopefully. Okay. So both of those guys are asleep. As long as I don't make any other mistakes, we can start taking these guys out one by one. Uh, let's throw a Cure 3. At some point, the first guy is going to wake up. At some point, both of the guys are going to wake up. Uh, but let's throw out a Cure 3. And then uh, my course of action is going to be... Uh, uh, there he goes. He's awake. Uh, dang it. All right, Cecil, please, 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 please put him to sleep. Please put him to sleep. Uh, no. Oh, no. This is gone. This has gone off the deep end. Uh, I don't think, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, cure four. Come on. Uh, that was probably a bad mistake, but whatever. Uh, fight. Well, come on. Come on. Cure four, yeah. Okay, full health, kind of. <laughs> And immediately, no, oh, everybody's awake now. Uh, come on. Do your attack, Cecil. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Maybe if I... Uh, this might just be too early to do this, man. Um, maybe if I try and do a quick... Uh, well, and Se he's out of... Uh, he's out of MP, so it's not gonna matter much. But, um, alright, let me try and give myself an either one. Um... And then just keep piling on damage on these guys. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to make it, though, folks. So, uh, probably what I'm going to try and do next time. Maybe if I can, early out of the... Oh, oh, we got one down. All right, uh, maybe this can happen. No. Nope. <laughs> and I immediately eat my words. Well, yep, this will slowly go haywire. So, I'm thinking what I can try and do... Perished, yes. I think this might be the first Perished of the game. Which, uh, considering I'm rushing through it, I'm very proud of myself. Anyway, um, I think what I might try and do is, uh, I might, um... I might try and get Tella to throw off a, uh... A cure... F uh, sorry, a cure. Uh, fire three on on the back row over. See if I can take that out with a single fire three. Odds are I probably can't. Maybe if I distribute the fire. Uh, so I'll try I'll try two uh, different courses, and if both don't work, then I'm just gonna say I'm gonna call it because 
there's no point in keeping, uh, continuing to try and hammer away at this. This might be just way too difficult for me to fight with my current equipment. Uh, and I don't, honestly, don't even remember what I get from this. I think I might get a, an axe, which would be great, but it's not really necessary. All right, so here we go. Trying to uh, take number two. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, fight. Hopefully he puts him to sleep. Let's do this, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. All right. Fell asleep? Yes, thank you. All right. Nice. 46 damage. That's hysterical. Okay, and Tella, you're going to do a fire three single on the Mad Ogre. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, come on. Cecil, put him to sleep. And nope. Well, that's okay, I guess, but whatever. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Doing some good damage. Uh, let's keep piling on on that middle ogre. Okay, 505. That was not enough to really do anything. Uh, maybe if I do it on the front ogre? I don't know. This is... I think this is... I think this is going south again, folks. Tella just doesn't have enough of a... Of a uh, whatever the stat that controls... Uh, whatever the stat that controls... Um, black magic is. I don't think he has a high enough uh, enough level of that to, to really do anything significant. Um, so, eh, we'll see what happens, but maybe maybe I'll be able to maybe I'll be able to knock out this middle guy. We'll see. Alright. Is he gone? Nope. 225, really? That's ludicrous. I, this, in my mind, this is enough proof to me that it's there's no there's no point in even continuing to try and distribute the the damage evenly. It's not going to matter. The, the the guy in the, the these are just too difficult to fight right now. So I'll do one more. Uh, I'll do one more fire three, and if Tella can get it off in time, no, he can't. All right. So you know what? When we are supposed to come back to Eblon, I will come back to Eblon. Uh, this was a terrible mistake. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry to you all. But uh, let me go back in and collect those remaining chests. Um, the, you know, the other couple that, uh, that don't have crazy ogres inside of them. And uh, yeah, that'll be... Uh, that'll be... Um, that'll be what we do. And then we'll head back to... to uh, Edward and see what our next course of action is. Probably going to fight um, a Dark Elf, but we will see. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go down here, get these Ether Ones. Nice. I'm gonna be fully MP'd. All right, and then coming over here and then back out. All right, yay. So now here we go, heading back to Damkin. Not Damkin, I forget what the name of this place is. If you can't tell, it's been a little bit since I last played uh, Troya. That's what it's called. Um, it's been a little while since I last played, so um, yeah. Uh, I think we are actually in a pretty good place right now to uh, ruby ring. I gotta get, uh, I gotta get a couple more ruby rings. I think, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's got silver. I think they all have silver. Um, so basically, what's gonna happen is. Uh, Edward, I, I don't know if I already did this on the last uh, episode, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but uh, Edward uh, is basically in this place, and he tells us, oh, there's a, there's a, there's an evil, there's an evil, uh, there's an evil uh, uh, thing living in a cave over there, so please go over there to handle it, and that's what we do. But uh, let me let me head inside and, and take care of this uh, little um, this little event. All right. Sorry if I just spoiled a, a plot point that you were all very excited for. All right. So let's head into the Damkin Castle. Damkin. Uh, I'm gonna do this all day. Uh, let's head into uh, Troya Castle, and uh, we are going to see that there's a lot of uh, nice folk over here. I'm not an old maid. I'm the minister. The eight clerics are inside. That's great. Uh, so, um, this is a very interesting uh, area in the world of Final Fantasy IV because it is a, uh, a kingdom run by, uh, by women, uh, which is pretty cool in my book. 
Uh, please keep quiet. We have a patient in here. I don't know why he sounds sick. And look who it is. Our old friend. Edward. Oh, man. Edward's voice is so hard. Here we go. <clears throat> Cecil! So you are alive! Let me join you! What can you do in such a wretched condition? Lie in bed quietly. Thanks, Dad. Esther, tell her forgive me. You lost Anna because of me. Really? <laughs> he was just verifying. <laughs> tell his pause. Uh, what was Young's voice? I think Young was okay. Prince Edward, think only of your health now. Yeah, I I believe Young is Sonic. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Sounds very happy about that. Poor Rydia! And I can't do anything while you fight, it's a shame! I don't remember Sid's voice, I'm gonna assume it's a knockoff New York accent. Don't worry! Me and my Enterprise will take, uh, take you, take your share. There we go. I've heard you had taken good care of Cecil and Rosa. Now it's my turn. You are the master engineer, Sid? Then you have an airship. Cecil, where is Rosa? She was caught in an in exchange. She was... <laughs> okay, Cecil. She was caught in exchange for the crystal of Earth at Troia. But the crystal is now in the hands of the Dark Elf. Did we learn that yet? Oh, oh well. Dark Elf? Cecil, take this! What's that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't even care what it is. It is received the Twin Harp. Cecil? Save Rosa? Man, she really, he really cares a lot about Rosa. Well, thank you, uh, Edward. Uh, so, yes, as you can see over here is Edward's harp, and he gave us what is called the twin harp. He may not walk or get up until he's all well. Don't worry, we'll take care of him. Edward shouldn't move yet. Me? I'm a nurse. The doctor is this lady. Oh, how... what a twist. Good job, Final Fantasy IV. I would love to see the people who did the translations for this because it is super, uh, you know, some of the some of the things that they do are super interesting. Keeping in mind that this was 1991, but Troy, a pretty cool place in the Final Fantasy IV world, if I do say so myself. All right. So uh, we are now back outside. So the Dark Elf, um, which was discussed briefly earlier, and forgive me if I had already done this in the last episode, can't remember. But um, over here in Taroya, there are some uh, there are some hidden items. Uh, as I was saying, the Dark Elf is a uh, um, an uh, an elf who is dark, and he is living in a cave uh, towards the uh, towards the north of the map. Hey, I didn't get these things yet. Awesome. All right, so let me get all these all these little treasures. Um, one thing that's annoying about that cave is that it uh, it identifies which uh, equipment you're wearing is uh, made out of metal. And um, when uh, when you're wearing a piece of metal, it paralyzes. Uh, sorry, when you're wearing a piece of metal armor, it paralyzes you. So. It becomes pretty difficult to get through that cave, uh, given the equipment that we currently have. So what we have to do is we have to equip ourselves with um, with stuff that is not uh, not made of metal, which, as you can imagine, is going to be really fun. Because what is the stuff that they have that's not made of metal? Leather armor, leather caps, uh, regular caps, and cloth uh, cloth shirts. 
not a great um, setup for us. I can't remember if karate is uh, is um, metal. Uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Uh, but in the meantime, I will put these ruby rings on our guys, because I already bought those. Uh, Cecil is going to really uh, have a fun time, because he's going to... Oh, well, that actually raised magic defense, which is interesting. But um, Cecil is going to have a fun time, because all of his armor is... Uh, is uh, metal and uh, all of his um, all of his uh, what's it called all of the, his sword is metal as well so that means he can't wear a sword how clever you are game in hampering our ability to play it well okay so now I've got um, I always forget which uh, which items have which um, which uh, abilities or whatever but, um, or sorry, which, uh, which items are metal, are made of metal. But, uh, what's gonna pretty much happen here is I'm gonna switch everybody to leather. Uh, except Yang. I think, I think Yang's karate outfit is fine. Uh, if, if we get into a battle in the, in the Magnus Cave, uh, I don't know what they call it here, but in, in the, uh, remake it's called the Magnus Cave. Uh, if we get into a battle in the, uh, Magnus Cave and Yang is paralyzed, then we'll know that, um... It's his, uh, it's his leather armor, uh, it's, sorry, it's his karate armor that's, uh, that's holding him back. Uh, the, uh, thing that's interesting is that his claws are not considered metal, so, which makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, so, we're not gonna have to worry about that, but, uh, I'm gonna put, uh, leather, uh, hats on everybody. Uh, and I'm gonna do something a little fun and interesting for Cecil, and even though I don't know if this is the best course of action. Uh, I used to do this all the time when I played this as a kid, but uh, it's a fun little change of pace because you get to see Cecil work with the different uh, different equipment. Uh, I'm going to get him a bow, and I'm going to do the same for Sid, but uh, I'm going to get them uh, both bows, uh, and uh, they're going to become uh, archers for a little bit, which is pretty, pretty cool in my book. So I believe Cecil and... Uh, and um, Sid can both equip, um, can both equip bows. Oh, they've got a, they've got a wooden, uh, a wooden, uh, wrench for, for, uh, for Sid, which I didn't think they had, so I'm just gonna do that. Uh, and then great bow, good. Alright, so, let's equip, uh, Cecil with his bow. Uh, he's right-handed, so the bow is gonna go in his... Uh, left arm. Oh, I should have just done that. Okay, cool. And then arrows are going to go in his right hand. All right, let's put... Uh, iron aren't great. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy more, uh, more arrows. Uh, as I'm convinced with most things in this game, I believe the, uh, I believe the Dark Elf is... Well, I mean, it's not going to matter, but I believe the the things within the within the cave are weak to fire, so I'm going to get two fire and then two lit. I I feel like uh, ice is underpowered in this game, so uh, I'm going to avoid. Ooh, I'm going to avoid using lit arrows, or sorry, I'm going to avoid using ice arrows. So let's sort, and then we can equip uh, Cecil with. Uh, let's see if. Uh, Let's see if uh, fire arrows are any better. No, they're not. So we'll keep them on mute for the time being. And then, um, yeah, if we need to change, we'll make a change. All right, so Yang is looking good. Cecil is looking good. All right. Tella is looking good. Oh, wait, no, Tella is not looking good. Tella has a silver, uh, a silver staff. Do I have anything that I can buy him? I mean, it's not really going to matter, because Tella doesn't do any damage. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove the the silver uh, the silver staff from him. Okay, and then Sid is looking good. All right, cool. So, um, well, it's a little stupid that I did this now, because uh, uh, we don't need to do this until we get to the cave. So let me put all of their other equipment back on. Uh, headband... I can't remember if headband is, uh, causes paralysis either. That will be another thing I check. All right, so we'll get rid of you. Doop. And then put your slumber sword back on. I love the slumber sword. 
I love the slumber sword this early in the game. When when you're actually supposed to get it in the game, it's actually it's not that good, but oh well. Uh, you and then silver. Okay. So the reason I do this is be, uh, the reason I'm re-equipping everybody is because uh, we have to actually move a little bit further uh, north to get to the cave, uh, and we're gonna have to do. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to fight a couple of battles to to um, get there. So. Um, it was stupid of me to unequip everybody, uh, right now. But, let's, uh, finish getting them all equipped. And then, uh, we will head out. Uh, I want to check first if I have, um, if I have any, uh, tents, because I will definitely need tents. I have two tents. Should probably get a couple more. Let me sort everything. Nice! All right. Uh, yeah, let me get a couple more tents, if they have them, and then, uh, we will head out. Troy is such a pretty little town. It was, uh, always interesting to me that they have the, uh, they have the little river running right through, uh, the middle of the town, and that you can, you know, go in the river. I know you learned that. You can go into, into waters, into water during, uh, in Baron, but, um, it's still pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna get ten tents. Maybe I should get some wives, too. Yeah, why not? Sure. And I'm left with no GP. Hopefully that doesn't hurt me in the future. Alright. So I'm just going to sort everything out to make sure we're collapsed and we don't have, uh, we're not taking up too much room. Alright. And then it is time for us to head out. Uh, so here we go on our adventure to Magnus Cave. Sorry for the noise outside. Uh, on our adventure to Magnus Cave for uh, to fight the Dark Elf. Here we go. So one of the things is that uh, you, if you take your airship, you'll uh, you'll see that you can't land anywhere by the Magnus Cave. There's too many. Uh, there's too much. Um, there's too much. What's called uh, uh, trees. There are too many trees all around. So you have to um, you have to actually go up north to this area in Troya. That is a, uh, that is, uh, that has, um, chocobos. Our old friends, the chocobos. Uh, and, yeah, when we, uh, get the chocobo, we can fly to, uh, we can, uh, oh, actually, you're gonna get to see a new type of chocobo, which is pretty exciting. Look at me and me being Mr. Spoiler all, all today. Alright, fire three. That was probably a little overkill, but who cares? Goodbye. All right, cool. So, uh, ooh, that's actually some good HP and some good GP. Uh, but let's keep going. All right, so if you head up here, you'll see right over here, we got a, um, usually, uh, within the game, uh, the, um, the Chocobo Forests are circles. Um, but here, it kind of gets cut off by the, uh, by the water. So it's not a full circle. It's like a semicircle. Just a little interesting thing to learn. When I was young, I didn't understand that um, the partial circle was still considered a uh, a chocobo forest. I thought it was just a weird, a weird indent. All right, uh, Tully is gonna throw out that fire three, and oof, <laughs> that was definitely overkill. All right. Cure one, nice, all right, and then up here, so right over here is the Chocobo Forest. Let's have Cecil cure everybody up. Um, so we are gonna face some relatively rough enemies in the, uh, in the Magnus Cave. Uh, I'm hoping that I don't die too quickly because, um, we, we should be able to get through it. I'm, I'm not too worried. But, um, yeah, so in here you can see that over here is the black chocobo. It always looked blue to me. It looks blue and orange, which makes it really pop. Over here is the white chocobo, which, uh, come, if I can catch it. Oh, it's, uh, um, come back here. Come back here. I want you. I want you, white chocobo. Come here. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, white chocobo. And MP recovered. Yep, cool little thing. And then there's just our normal yellow chocobos. But what we need is a black chocobo because they are flying. I think this is the, this, well, maybe I'm wrong. This might have been done in, oh, okay, there we go. This might have been done in earlier Final Fantasies, but I think this might be the first Final Fantasy with, uh, 
with um, a different colored chocobo. Uh, so here we are with our flying buddy. Uh, interesting thing about black chocobos, they can fly over any type of land and any type of water except mountains. They can't fly over mountains, uh, which, you know, is a cool little, uh, little design feature, which kind of integrates well with the world. Um, and here is uh, the Magnus Cave. So I'm going to park my uh, little Choco Buddy. Nice. And then I am going to... Do I need to tent? I don't... Well, let's, let's just have Cecil do a Cure 2 on Yang. Get full HP. And then uh, let's switch up our equipment. So Yang, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him unequipped in terms of headband and karate. Because I think... I think both of those should be safe from uh, from the uh, from the, the the magnetism effect, uh, but we will definitely see. So um, we're gonna equip Cecil. Uh, let's give him a leather hat. Okay, and some leather oh, leather armor, and then a ruby ring. Yeah, this is one of the... The ruby ring was always, like, a, a very interesting thing in my mind, because it's, like... It's an early game uh, piece of equipment uh, that you have to use later in the game. It's it's a very clever way to do this. I, I, I think I mentioned uh, in earlier episodes about... Um, about uh, needing to save your equipment at, uh, at certain points in the game, and this is one of them. Uh, so, unequipping the staff on Tella, and I wish I had saved a, I wish I had saved a, um, a, uh, a, one of the, uh, I wish I had saved one of his, uh, magic, uh, staffs. Maybe I could go get one. Eh, it's too much of a hassle now. Yeah, for, for the amount of damage it's gonna do, it's not worth it. But, we're all saved up, we're all geared up and we are ready to head inside. Let's do it. Cave Magnus. What is this magnetic field? Me metallic things will be too heavy to control. My claws seem o- My claws seem okay. There we go. Do not worry. I'll do it with my magic. You'll do what? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it with my 90 MP. It'll be very helpful. Well, it's good that we got all of those extra um, ethers in uh, Eblon Castle, because um, that is going to be helpful here. Oh, yes, I forgot about this. So, um, I, I don't know if this is the case with, with everything in the game, but, or sorry, if this is the case with every arrow in the game, but I believe arrows are effective against um, against uh, flying enemies and you just saw that with uh, Cecil he really he really like put some damage out case in point so yes anything that's flying Cecil will be able to handle pretty well with that bow and arrow nice we got a cure too so we actually have a lot of cures which is pretty cool Okay, mages. Mages can be a bit of a pain in the newer game. I don't... Uh, silenced? Oh, that's not bad. Um, so, uh, in the newer game, they can deal a lot of damage. These are called uh, Mind Flayers in the newer game. And I think they are representative of the Mind Flayers from D&D. Uh, See? That makes no sense to me, though. I silenced him, but he could still do Blast. Alright, uh, whatever. Uh, so, Sid's paralyzed. We're just gonna have to try and deal enough damage to kill them both. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that that is one thing that is kind of annoying about this game, is that, uh, like, it doesn't, like, and this was kind of the case with, uh, with all old, uh, with all old games, uh, on, on, like, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, I think, uh, is the fact that, um, it feels like a lot of the functions of the game aren't aren't uh, available. So, like, status effects. You'll find that status effects in the original Final Fantasy, as well as this one, don't really apply to a lot of things. So, as we saw before, I, um, I uh, silenced those, those Mind Flayers, and what happened? Absolutely nothing. Um, but, uh, I don't know. 
I don't need to complain about this game. I love this game. And I should be happy about it. Okay. Uh, Tella gonna do some fire too. Uh, Cecil, uh, just keep, uh, attacking. <laughs> Silence the ogre for all the magic he was going to cast. Alright, fire two. And that does a pretty good job. It didn't do as good a job uh, on the Cave Naga as I expected it would, but, uh, okay, Cave Naga's down. Alright. And Sid gained a level. Very nice. Uh, okay, over here, there's a chest, I believe, over here, all right. Uh. Oh, yeah, Cave Ogre? Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see you beat us. We're gonna beat you, Cave Ogre. I know your brothers were able to kick our butt in Eblon Castle, but guess what? You're not as strong as they are. You're a little brother. Yeah, that's right. Little brother Ogre. Okay, Cecil's gonna do some damage, Young. Come on, come on, come on, Tella, pick it up. All right, cool. Nice, and that should be that. Oof, that slow is really annoying, but it is okay, because we took care of the Cape Naga. All right, uh, continuing up. Yes, there is a chest. Hooray! I was correct. Ugh. Our Panthers are annoying because they do a they do an attack called uh, Blaster, uh, which I believe kills you. Do, will they do? Okay, I guess not. Um, maybe it was the only the uh, the one that we fought in uh, in Eblon that does it. But um, yeah. So we're gonna just keep uh, dealing on damage. Uh, take care of this ogre. I love how grumpy the ogres look. They really do look like ogres. <laughs> They're very Shrekish. They're Shrekly in their in their behavior. Okay, got that one down. Tell's getting a little bit low on HP, but I think we're still okay. How is he doing on MP? He's at 30. Eh, that's not as bad as I expected. An Ether one. Sweet. Alright, and I don't believe there's anything over here. Uh, on you know, on that lower path. So Hopefully we will be okay. Um, for this, the that that last battle just really showed. Oh no, Cecil's out of arrows. All right. Uh, so that last battle kind of showed me that I don't really need to uh, cause that much damage to cave bats. So uh, I'm just going to attack them instead of having Tella use uh, use any of his magic because I don't want to waste MP. Even though I might be heading onto a uh, onto a. Uh, into a, uh, a save area soon, which I hope is the case. All right, so let's uh, just keep dealing out damage to them. And they're gonna do their annoying vampire attack. Uh, a vampire can get super annoying later in the game. Uh, you'll see there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some other areas where we have to deal with different bats and, uh, and large ass uh, assortments of bats. So hopefully, uh, hopefully those aren't too annoying in the future. But uh, as you can see, they they do vampire, which causes bleed, uh, and bleed damage is really annoying. All right, got a cure one, and let's head inside here. Okay, we got two chests. Nice, we got an ether one, and 500 GP. I'm rich. Uh, all right, head back out, and uh, head over to the left. <laughs> Look at all these skeletons. They're like, I tried to get through, but I couldn't. Ugh, ogres. Eh, I, I was gonna run, but, you know, whatever. I'll try fighting them. Man, that... So, I guess I guess what was really doing the damage uh, before from Cecil was the, uh, was the type of arrow he was using. Uh, as you can see with... Uh, well, I mean, granted, accuracy is low, but... Uh, as you can see with uh, with his last attack, the the um, the air, the fire arrow barely did anything to to the ogre, but it's okay because we are strong. We are stronger than ten minutes ago. All right. Um, oh no, what did I do? Okay, well that's fine. I was gonna have uh, Tella do uh, do some fire too. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you're trying to really beat me up. Look at you, look at you big ogre boys trying to, trying to ruin my life. Okay. Can you take this one out, Yong? Let's see. Okay, let's do a fire two. This is, this is very reminiscent of a fight we had just earlier this episode. Okay. Uh, Tella, can you please cast that spell before we all die? Thank you. So I don't remember where I heard this, but I feel like, um, I feel like this is the case. Um, I think for, uh, I think for certain spells, or actually for all damage, ba damage dealing spells, if you multicast them, and you multicast the spell, but then every other character, every other creature dies, aside from, uh, one single enemy, I believe what happens is uh, you get a little extra damage boost on the uh, on the attack that's dealt to the uh, to the um, remaining uh, enemy. Uh, don't trust my word on that, but I believe that is the case. All right, so I'm just going to heal everybody up, uh, and I'm probably going to give uh, I'm probably going to give Tella. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give Tella uh, maybe a two ether ones. Okay, let's get. Yang up to full health, and then we'll give Tella two ether ones. Nice. All right. So we are back in fighting form. All right. Heading on through the map, and is this what I think it is? It is indeed. Good job wasting equipment. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to call it here today. Uh, I believe this is a good uh, point to stop. So uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Please, um, if you uh, have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, or you can head over to my Twitter, which is at GamingWick, W-I-K, Clover, and uh, you can send me a message there, or you can send me a tweet, or you can tweet at me. Please, please tweet at me. And also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It is super helpful. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.